Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will explore the first monastery in Tibet and the most sacred monastery in Tibet, the Sami Monastery. The Sami Monastery is a true testament to Tibetan Buddhism's rich history and cultural heritage. It is located in Yarlung Valley. It was founded in the 8th century by King Chisung Dezhe under the guidance of Guru Pema Sambhava and holds the immense significance for Buddhists around the world. It is the first Buddhist monastery in Tibet and currently it is one of the most famous historical sites in Tibet. The Sami monastery has been under harsh circumstances such as natural disasters and man-made disasters. It has been repaired or reconstructed many times but the original design of the monastery hasn't been compromised. The current structure is renovated after the Cultural Revolution and which was fully renovated in 1989. The Samya Monastery is renowned for its unique mandala design which represents the feature of Buddhist universe view. The main hall, known as Samya Utsi, represents Mount Miru, the center of the universe. Then it's surrounded by temples with different colors on each direction. So right now we have the east gate, which is the main entrance gate. So now we are going inside. The temple. There are a lot of temples around here. The main temple is known as Sangi Uzi. So later we will uh, go there. So now we are entering into the main temple. This is called Sami Uzi. So now we are going inside the temple. <coughs> It has three amazing floors and each floor represents the architectural craftsmanship of Tibetan, Chinese and Indian. The first floor represents the craftsmanship of Tibetans and the second floor represents the craftsmanship of Chinese and the third represents the Indian craftsmanship. The courtyard of the This is a white hand which represents the protector of the Sami Monastery. Once the Sami Monastery was on fire at night, this hand woke up everyone in the monastery by making huge sound which saved the monastery from burning. Then it became the protector of the monastery.
Sami monastery attracted pilgrims and visitors from all over the world, seeking spiritual enlightenment and deeper connection with Tibetan Buddhism. It is a place of pilgrimage where devotees come to pay their respect and seek blessings. This is the second floor, which is designed in uh, Chinese. So the first floor is designed in Tibetan style, and the second floor is designed in Chinese style, and the third floor is designed in Indian style. So right now we are at the second floor, which is in Chinese style. The Sami Monastery is not a just a uh, place for, of worship but also a center for Buddhist education and practice. Monks dedicated their lives to studying Tibetan Buddhist philosophy, engaging in meditation and preserving the teachings of the Buddha.
Then there are four huge stupas at each corner of the main temple with different colors. The white stupa at southeast known as Jamjuk stupa which means refuge stupa. Red stupa at southwest Pemawamba stupa which means the brilliant light lotus. Then black stupa at northwest uh, known as Nyamye stupa which means the enlightened stupa. The green stupa at northeast known as Nathan Stupa, which represents uh, paying homage for the scholars of Tibetan Buddhism. It contains the statues of 21 Taras. The whole campus is surrounded by a huge wall with uh, 1,018 small stupas on the top. It is a testament to enduring power of faith and the beauty of Tibetan culture and their craftsmanship. Thank you for joining us on this journey to the Sami Monastery in Tibet. See you in the next journey. Thank you for watching.